Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris, the Stellar Republic campaign. In Republic news, the colonies in the Scorpio system have fallen to Republic forces. With this victory, the last of the NABE systems in the Stellar Republic's command theater have surrendered. However, one NABE planet remains unoccupied in the Lorongo Dir Director's command theater in the Hickus system. This planet has resisted, resisted all the Lorongo attempts to invade. The Republic has dispatched the home fleet and the entire army to assist the Lorongo in taking the planet. Beyond the war, the Republic government has authorized and provided resources for the construction of a Penrose Sphere around the nearby Cancia's Abyss Black Hole. This will be the single largest construct attempted by the Republic in its history. It will be a giant ball of mirrors used to extract energy from the Black Hole. Another proposal being considered by Republic engineers is to begin repairs on the ancient ring world that was once home to the Cybrex. And that's the news. Alright, yeah, so I just realized that is one other thing that we can do. The Cybrex home system ring world can begin to be repaired. So that's something we can think about doing. And I realized there was actually one big mistake that I made when I set up doing this uh, Penrose Sphere is that the construction ship that I sent to go build this was the construction ship that was building the orbital habitat in the solar system. Oops. So I am dispatching another construction ship to go um, get that project back uh, on its way. So a little bit of a mistake there. All right. So let's go ahead and get back to this. Now, one thing that we, we noticed, or I noticed, about the Hickus, uh, this planet Hickus C3, last episode, is that there are a lot of enemy armies here, and that was kind of freaking me out a little bit, because I'm like, oh my goodness, how in the world are we going to take this planet? But, uh, after the end of the episode, I noticed that the garrison strength is only 2600. So that while these are a lot of enemy armies, they're not very strong at all. Um, so we should be able to just you know, run them over pretty easily. Um, Technology so, discovered. yeah. We'll just go ahead and do our normal thing. We'll invade, take them down. Well, I thought their planetary defense was not functional. Oh, apparently they have a coil scatter gun up and running. The neutron cannon is not operating. Okay, okay. Alright, well, we're going to bombard the system and, uh, or the planet, and then see what we're going to do here. Alright, new tech. We have gateway construction, so we can begin building our own gateways. Uh, another megastructure, Substellar Compressor. Sure, let's grab it. Alright. Wait for these guys to get into position, but not in planetary orbit, so they don't get hit by that scatter gun. Alright, let's split up the army as usual. Cruiser, Marines, tanks, veteran assault armies. You guys land first. Initiating communications. Just a second. All right, and then you guys land second. You want to be associated again? No, we're, we're, we're gonna be saying no to them. Deploying liberation forces. So, if this is as I think it is, uh, more pirates, we should begin just tearing these enemy armies apart. And yeah, they, they are, you know, they're already broken, dying really fast, we're not even really taking hardly any damage. Alright, if we do lose any armies, we can always replace them. Wow, we've already destroyed a research gulag, a blast furnace, a planetary shield generator's down, 
Farms ruined. Mineral processing plant. Tectonic stabilization reactor. Uh, Advanced Science Academy. What's this? Yeah, you'd think that the, one of the first things that would be targeted would be the planetary defense fortifications. Like, uh, these... You know, orbital... surface-to-orbit weapons. You'd think that'd be one of the first things you want to blow up. Alright, we're gonna let that, uh, take its course. Uh, one other thing I also noticed is that, um, this system right now is not occupied. So, we can send one of our battle squadrons. Oh, you can't, ah. Uh, you can't jump there? Why can't, you, upgraded. why can't you jump there? Oh, because it's just outside. Okay, okay. Then jump there. That'll get you close enough. Alright, then you guys head to that system and uh, take control of it. Alright, so in the soul system, let's go ahead and fix our little mistake here. Uh, you build... Build... Habitat... Jupiter... There we go. Alright, so how much was it going to cost per ring segment? 16,000 minerals and take 10 years. Okay. Plus or minus. That's that reinforcement. That's that uh, Titan they were waiting for. I think the rest of the fleet. You guys can all jump to the Unteo system. There's no more threats. We lost one of our ships. What did we lose? We lost a cruiser. And they're blowing up everything else but the actual, like, guns that are shooting at them. Hey. Oh well, this is not going to be uh, much longer.
Yep, only one more army. That needs to be dealt with. Everybody else has uh, disengaged. They they have disengaged, but no, they you, you can't disengage anymore. There's nobody left. Colony conquered. There we go. All right, both you guys. Jump out of there to the Unteo system. We need to wait for this guy to get there, and then we can deal with that. And then we'll see what the actual war score, war goals look like. So. There is the Kark fleet. Let's just take a look. Still saying demanding unoccupied systems and demanding unoccupied planets. There shouldn't be any unoccupied planets. I took them all. Fully occupied. Fully occupied. Everybody is fully occupied, right? Yep, yep, yep. Everybody is fully occupied. How long until they can jump? 40 days? Alright. Engaging enemy station. Any one of those missiles hits and it's over. Occupied systems minus 180. So that did go down a little bit. Demanding unoccupied planets 100. I mean, is it counting the Kark in all of this? you guys I don't know head head here Got a couple of science ships here Governor of Arvoth broke off their non-aggression pact with the Jaloon Interstellar Consensus. I'm not sure what else these science ships can do. I think I'll see if I can find a planet for them to assist research on. Technology discovered. Mm 
assist research. And uh, head over here. And assist research. There we go. We got uh, standardized dreadnought patterns. That's good. Advanced orbital habitation unlocks megastructure. Orbital Elysium. Sure, let's unlock all the megastructures. Zeltec decimators made peace with the Vimian Union. Status quo. All right, you guys go ahead and merge in. Technology discovered. You guys jump there. You guys jump there. All right, what do we got? All right, substellar compressor. Oh yeah, that's right, we need to do a new Ascension Park. I need to check and see if we had any suggestions. I haven't yet. Um, new research. Quarks and beyond. Hyper storage facility one. Uh, it's cheap. Let's grab it. Compulsory academics research gulag. Um, we're probably not going to want that. Communication protocols, additional sector limit. Advanced combat training, advanced assault army, advanced defense army. We might as well grab those. All right, let me just check something here. Okay. So I looked it over. And let's see. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. Uh, so there were several suggestions. Um, I don't think we're going to go with the Colossus Project. At least, not yet. Um, if we do eventually go for that, it'll be very, very late game. Um, Defender of the Galaxy, I think... Let's see. There were several suggestions. In Interstellar economy was one of them. Energy storage capacity, ener energy generation. I don't think we're really going to need that. Our energy generation is pretty good, and we're about to build that Penrose sphere. Um, let's see, active immigration policy with another suggestion. Unlock supply edict. Which is just like Xenopomps to immigrate to the planet. I'm not really sure I'm that interested in that. Um, but Secrets of the Universe has me intrigued. So we're going to grab Secrets of the Universe. Unlocks the 15 new rare technologies to be found and researched. So we're going to go ahead and grab that and see what comes of that. Alright, you guys can now jump. Go ahead and jump out of there. Let's see, I was just wanna check what this planet was. Technology discovered. Like. I mean, even though we've we've already taken it. Um, the other thing is it has apparently had rugged terrain Ships and it's a Cascadian upgraded. world, so it's a mountainous terrain. Um Hyper storage facility. Done. Uh there we go. Well, we have our pick of what we have of these. All right. Dynamic shield technology. Shield hit points plus 15%. Reform academic structures. Gives us additional research alternatives. That'd be nice. Uh, van string theory. Research speed. Plus for physics. Plus 10%. 
Reformed scanning protocols increases planet sensor range, unlocks the edict, used specialized scanners. So increasing, I guess, the scanner range again. I like this idea of research alternatives because that provides the greatest benefit for the longest amount of time. Then we'll probably go for that increased physics research if it's still available. That guy can merge in. These guys can move to Unteos under normal FTL. I mean, what if we were to go ahead and just negotiate a piece? Longo directors, Bloomball, Hickus, uh, Grisuna, Bloomball, Hickus, and one more. New Nape Empire will be created as an ally or subject of the Soviet Republic out of 11 occupied Nape systems. I don't think that's all of them, but that should be most of them. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Unless I'm missing one. That is all of them. One, two. And the Larongo will get these three systems. I mean, that might be what we want to do. It's just go ahead and say, you know what, we'll just you know, negotiate this thing out. And, uh... I don't keep looking at that thing, you know, it's an offer to me. Um... Penrose Sphere construction site built. The construction site for our future Penrose Sphere has been finished near uh, Kansas Abyss. Upon this scaffold, we shall completely develop a black envelop a black hole with a hyper-reflective mirror in order to exploit the gargantuan energies of the black hole's radiation. Great. Let's go ahead and um, what is the next stage? It's going to cost us twelve thousand minerals. Go for it. 2,700 days. So basically it's a Dyson Sphere for a black hole. Essentially. Which actually is a little bit more impressive than a Dyson Sphere. Though black holes are not quite as large. But the tidal forces involved are significantly larger. Gentle Winds, second piece. Oh yeah, they were having their second world war. The war that was raging on gentle winds has come to an end. It seems the history of the Stolgian civilization is prone to repetition with the same block that won the first global war, winning the second. With the aggressors obliterated and ideolo ideologies thoroughly discredited, we can expect this to become one of the major turning points of their civilization. Here we go. We have a lot of colonies that we could establish. Oh, because I blocked them from colonizing. At least I should have blocked them from colonizing. Let me just double check. Your short resources and stuff. Yeah, they're restricted from colonizing. How are they short energy? Yeah, 
How how in the world are you short energy? Clear some tile blockers. Build some stuff. The aliens have formed a federation. Hold on. Build that. All right, the Vimian Union and the Gulk Furka Crusaders have formed the Bright League. Okay, so those two guys are in a federation. Interesting. All right. Well, one thing we might want to start thinking about doing is moving the fleet to the Larongo Director's border. Not Larongo Director's. The Kark border and begin occupying Kark systems in an effort to see if we can reduce this this war score. The problem is we're at 94% war exhaustion. It's not going to be too much longer before we hit 100% and we're going to be forced into a peace deal in two years anyway. Alright. Jump drives are need 45 more days to cool down. All right, we're, we're going to head out there anyway. We're going to head over here and start hitting some of these systems and see what happens. Man, there's lots of pirates out there. Lots of pirates. It might be worth sending a fleet out there, putting a fleet together and sending it out there and seeing if we can't uh, remove some of those pirates. Twenty-five days to go till we can start jumping. Actually, we don't want to necessarily bring the transport fort fleet along. Great Union was given association status by the Bright League. Okay. Technology discovered. All right, we have the reform academic structures done. We don't have the other one. Let's grab the Quarks and Beyond for power generation. We might as well. We need a new tradition. Yield capacity increased, no ship build cost decreased. FTL speed. Starbase module, starbase module, pop resource. Production is increased on all habitats. That might be useful. Industry. Let's see, mining stations that produce minerals, produce more minerals. Robot build speed, we don't really have robots. Research speed industry is increased. Grand forgeries and unlocks the blast furnace. Forge worlds. Every tile on one of our planets have a 20% chance to contain an additional two minerals. This might be really, really nice. Uh, let's see, we, when we adopt it, reduces the build cost of mineral networks by 25%. When we finish, um, reveals the rare minerals planetary resource, unlocks deep core excavation, and unlocks the mineral silo. You know what, we're going to go for industry. Adopt it. We're going to need a bunch of minerals if we're going to start building megastructures. All right, one day, done. Go ahead, jump the fleet. Cooperative of Arvoff was given an association status by the Bright League. 
So they might bring the Great Union and the Cooperative of Arvoth into their... Maybe. They might. Association status doesn't necessarily mean... much. I'm hoping that the Nahinto Consortium can get out of their war. Because I, I think they might join our Federation. It'd be nice. You know what, can we... Can we integrate these guys? Yeah, let's go ahead and integrate those guys. Do that. Alright, the fleet has finished their jump. They can't jump for another... 192 days. So go ahead and head for the Hema system. And we'll see what happens when you get there. All right, you guys merge in. Unless we lost one of our veteran assault armies. Let's train up another one of those. Just check to make sure we don't have anything to do with our construction ships. Not really. Yeah, 2,500 days. It's going to take a little while. Twenty-five percent on that. Orbital habitat. Coming along. All right, so. Enter into a migration treaty with the Great Union, enter into a migration treaty with the Gulk Freaky Crusaders. Alright. Sooth Empire entered a non aggression pact with the Kark Empire. The Sooth Empire. Give us gun of this. They don't like us. After we deal with the Nib, the Kark and the Sooth are probably going to be the next targets. Um, hopefully we get the Nihinto into the Federation to give us some advantage there. Uh, the Kark fleet is still hanging out there. I, mean, I don't have enough firepower in these small fleets to be able to, to engage them. So, 95,000. Due to advanced technology, the United Human Tribe is now a vassal under us. Okay, well that's fine, because we're... We're integrating them anyway. We are still integrating them, right? Yeah, yeah, we still are. Mm -hmm. 
A 96%. We're 4% away from being forced into something. I'm thinking we're probably just going to have to settle status quo. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to we're going to end the episode here. And just let me know if that's what you want to go ahead and do. Just settle status quo now because it's almost certainly what's going to happen anyway. And then we can get back to uh, other business. Like building mega structures and repairing a ring world. And um, see what comes after that. Or if you want me to go ahead and continue kicking the cark and see if we can't knock that uh, knock this down a little bit further. I don't think we are going to be able to though. But uh, just let me know. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.